Hi everyone, I'm Mike Fivas, and today I'm here at the Connected Health Conference in Boston, where Aventin just released results of a very promising remote patient monitoring study. The study, which was designed to reduce readmissions, was built around Aventin's VitalBeat software platform and the Intel Health Application Platform Hub. The results were very promising, with 90% compliance with the home regimen. Naveen Govan, the founder of Aventin, first unveiled the study while on a panel here at Connected Health. The study, he said, happened to focus on heart failure patients, though it's really designed for a much broader range of chronic conditions. Aventin designed the study with Intel, a physician advisor for Dignity Health in Gilbert, Arizona, and a local specialty care provider. They equipped 10 heart failure patients with kits built around VitalBeat and IHAP. Last week, I had a chance to learn firsthand about the study and its implications when I visited Dignity Health's Mercy Gilbert Medical Center. There, I spoke with Dr. Raj Bhatt, he's the physician advisor, and Roxanne Dudish, director of patient care coordination there. We spoke about the crisis of care in our country and how programs like this that focus on chronic conditions and reducing readmission could really be a key to uh, reducing the stress on our overburdened healthcare system. Both Dr. Bott and Ms. Dudish were very high on the prospects for what this program could mean for patients and for the future of healthcare. Chronic care involves a huge burden on uh, an American society in terms of resources, in terms of um, poor outcomes. And so I think uh, you know, getting a handle on, on these chronic conditions in a in a you know, logical way is, is the way to go. Heart failure is one of our highest readmission risks. And so we have a number of patients that we see not infrequently who really have not stabilized their condition. So I think there's opportunities from a technology standpoint because um, regardless of what we do, you know, congestive heart failure, uh, typically you, know, you end up with about 20% readmission rate in, in, in 30 days. Any kind of early detection or monitoring that we can do to get in front of the, um, you know, before the patient crumps and needs to return to us because we know that most readmissions re occur within the first seven days. If you can uh, come up with a technology that can, you know, detect early um, heart failure. To be able to, you know, register their heart rate, their, um, you know, their um, blood pressure, their weight, so that we can really capture and identify um, triggers to monitor them remotely. And that's the whole goal, to, to make it seamless to go from patient back to the providers and then uh, if something needs to be intervened, then the provider can contact the patient to make adjustments. So it, it sounds like uh, an early pilot that you all engaged showed some promising results. Tell us about it. So, um, you know, 10 patients were enrolled uh, here in Chandler uh, and using uh, hub technology, uh, you know, the patients were able to uh, have their blood pressure uh, and their weights monitored. Um, and uh, after the survey, or after the study, um, about 90% completed the study um, and had 100% and had good response. The technology is pretty cool. You've got the, the hub that collects the data and, you know, seamlessly sends it back into the medical records um, via the software platform. I mean, what could you do with this? Well, from our perspective, uh, it's a game changer because with our patients, even those that are, you know, elderly and have, um, you know, may have some cognitive issues, there's nothing they need to do but turn this on. And they're able to be self-guided and then the data runs automatically. That's the important thing is, you know, they, they are obviously trying to, you know, um, be compliant with the medications and the regimen. but. They also need some help, and I think the technology piece really will, uh, you know, will, will be a game changer in, in helping that. Not having to have Wi-Fi, not having to have a phone, um, any of that really makes it even more appealing. So the next step is to start looking at this a little bit more at scale then? Absolutely. So that's kind of what we're um, aiming to do, trying to use this technology to, to expand it to uh, more patients in, you know, in, in the hospital systems, um, again, with the whole goal of trying to decrease readmissions um, from, from congestive heart failure 
and then perhaps in the future also applying it to other disease states, sepsis, uh, COPD. We would really be able to keep them out of the hospital um, for extended periods of time. That's what it's all about. I'm excited about it. I think it's going to be great. Oh, my God.